Hello everyone and welcome to Moonlight Jewel. My name is Elisa and today I will show you how I made my Candy Queen. She was inspired by the sculpture Molly Lolly of the wonderful Tina Yu artist. I'll link her website, YouTube and Instagram down below in the description box. Check her out, her work is truly amazing. So yeah, as you can see I'm using the Gulia for my skin custom tutorial. If you haven't seen it yet, you can check it out here. I'll leave the link to it in the description box as well. So, jetzt aber genug geredet. Los geht's! The first thing I always do before I begin with the face-up is the reroute. So, I took some nylon here in the color Iceberg and my rerouting tool. It's basically just a needle which hole I cut off in a diagonal angle so that I have kind of a little hook to pluck the hair in the head. The tool I got from Retro Dolls. Then I'm taking a tiny strand of hair, hook it with the needle and pluck the hair gently into the head. Yay! One strand is done! <laughs> now it's just about a million more to go. thousand years later. Yay, I'm finally finished with the reroute. This is always very time consuming, but the result is all worth it, I think. Now it's time for the face up, which was pretty hard to do. These little red white candy lips turned out to be quite tricky because the white just didn't really want to build up. Also, Gulia has very deep eye holes and they're quite small, but Molly Lolly's eyes are big and beautiful. So I tried to somehow find a good middle course between Gulia's face mold and the original sculpture. As I realized that the white really isn't gonna build up even after drawing several layers of it, I took my teeny tiny brush and some watered down acrylic paint and just painted it on. It was really hard, but somehow a lot of fun as well. I did the frackets the same way because they just wouldn't look good drawn on with watercolor pencils. Acrylics just gave them so much more saturation. To finish up the face up with the golden tears, I took some PVA glue and kind of painted it on the doll's face in the shape of the tears I wanted to have. Then I used my loose golden glitter and scattered it over the glued areas and shaked Gulia's head to get rid of the excess. The last finishing touch were some doll lashes. Now we just need some accessories. I already made some candies out of polymer clay and took a headband I had from the Spectra cheerleading doll, spray painted it white and just glued the candies and some pastel pom-poms onto it with my hot glue gun. Ooh, it looks so delicious! For the final styling, I curled Gulia's hair and got a custom-made outfit from Mini Bloomer's design on Etsy. Check out her store, she makes amazing clothes for Blythe and some gorgeous lingerie for Monster High dolls. I'm so in love with that outfit. You will find the link in the description box. And voila! 
My Candy Queen is done. So, what do you think of my candy queen? I would be so happy if you write me a comment. Also, if you liked this video and want to see more, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and stay creative. See you in the next video. Bye! This is always... Always. Always. Always ultra. <laughs>